Imagine flying faster than a bullet, staying in the air for over two months, or squeezing over a thousand people onto a single plane. It might sound impossible, but aviation has turned the impossible into everyday reality. From pilots breaking speed records to jumbo jets defying all expectations, aviation is full of stories that sound like something out of science fiction. But they're 100% real, and sometimes just as crazy as they are inspiring. In this video, we're talking about some of the wildest aviation records ever set. Oh, and I promise, we'll finish with a few so bizarre you'll be googling them just to make sure they're real. So, when we talk about aviation records, we can't help but start with the one that takes us straight into the danger zone – speed. In 1947, Chuck Yeager flew the Bell X-1 and became the first human to break the sound barrier. The sound barrier, by the way, is 767 miles per hour at sea level. So yeah, Jaeger wasn't messing around. By 1967, the North American X-15 was rewriting the record books. This rocket-powered aircraft reached a staggering 4,354 miles per hour, over six times the speed of sound. That's Mach 6.7 if you're counting. And at that speed, you could fly coast to coast in under 15 minutes. Okay, we can't talk about speed without mentioning the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird which still holds the record for the fastest jet-powered aircraft. It cruised at 2,193 miles per hour and was so fast that if a missile was fired at it, the Blackbird could just outrun it. So, speed is cool, but what about staying power? Let's talk endurance. Because some planes don't just break records, they break the concept of time itself. In 1986, the Rutan Voyager did what no other aircraft had done before. It flew around the world non-stop and without refueling. This plane, designed by Burt Rutan, was piloted by Dick Rutan and Gina Yeager. The flight lasted 9 days, 3 minutes and 44 seconds, covering over 26,000 miles. But that's nothing compared to the Cessna 172 flight of 1958-59. This little plane stayed in the air for 64 days, 22 hours and 19 minutes. How? Mid-air refueling. The two pilots, Robert Tim and John Cook, refueled by flying low enough over a truck and the ground crew handed them the food and supplies on a rope. Imagine brushing your teeth, eating, and living your life in a cockpit smaller than your average bathroom. For over two months. Honestly, I'd have gone nuts by day five. Next, let's look up. Way up. Because some aircraft didn't just want to fly, they wanted to touch the stars. One legendary high flyer is the Lockheed U-2 spy plane. Designed during the Cold War, this plane could cruise at over 70,000 feet, so high that pilots had to wear spacesuits. The U-2 was useful for reconnaissance, giving the U.S. a bird's-eye view of enemy territory. And by bird's-eye, I mean a view above the clouds. But if you thought 70,000 feet was impressive, wait until you hear about the North American X-15. This experimental rocket plane reached an altitude of 67 miles in 1963. Yes, miles. It flew so high that it technically crossed into space. Pilots who flew the X-15 earned astronaut wings because, well, they were basically astronauts. Alright, speed and altitude are amazing, but sometimes bigger is better. The Antonov AN-225 Mariah takes the crown as the heaviest aircraft ever built. This beast could carry 640 tons. That's like piling up 42 African elephants and taking them for a joyride. In fact, the AN-225 once transported a 190-ton generator to Armenia, and another time, it carried an entire Buran space shuttle. Sadly, the AN-225 was destroyed in 2022 during the war in Ukraine, but its legacy as the world's heaviest aircraft lives on. On the passenger side, we have the Airbus A380, the largest airliner in the world. This double-decker marvel can carry over 850 passengers, and when fully loaded, an A380 weighs over 1.2 million pounds. That's equivalent to about 380 cars. And yet, it's so well-engineered that it takes off gracefully, as if unaware of its own size. Speaking of passengers, did you know the most people ever crammed onto a single plane was 1,088? That happened during Operation Solomon in 1991, when an El Al Boeing 747 evacuated Ethiopian Jews to Israel. To fit everyone, the plane didn't just use seats. People sat on the floor, in the aisles. 
anywhere they could find space. I can't help but wonder how the in-flight service went. Would you like chicken, fish, or… oh, sorry, we're out of everything except peanuts. Of course, not all crowded flights are humanitarian miracles. Some are just the result of airlines pushing capacity limits. The current record for the most passengers carried on a commercial flight is held by Indian Airlines Airbus A320, which evacuated 670 people during the Gulf War. Yes, it was standing room only, and no, I wouldn't want to be the flight attendant working that day. Now, if you guys are still not impressed, let's talk about a daredevil stunt. And when I say that, I mean flying a plane through a tunnel level of crazy. In 2021, Italian pilot Dario Costa set a Guinness World Record by flying through not one, but two tunnels in Turkey. At speeds over 150 miles per hour, with less than 2 meters of clearance on either side, Costa managed to stay airborne for 43.44 seconds, a heart-stopping eternity when you're threading the needle in a 17-ton hunk of metal. Costa later admitted that it was one of the most intense moments of his life, second only to the time he proposed to his wife. Aww. All right, next is tarmac delays. If you've ever been stuck on a plane waiting to take off, you know the frustration. But no delay you've experienced can compare to the epic saga of Air India Flight AI-121 in 2017. This flight, bound for Frankfurt, got stranded on the tarmac in Vienna for 16 hours due to technical issues. 16 hours. That's long enough to binge watch the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy. Extended editions, of course. Passengers were understandably furious. Some tried to deplane, but with no buses available to shuttle them to the terminal, they were stuck. The crew reportedly ran out of food and water, leaving passengers hangry and desperate. One person even claimed they considered staging a mutiny just to get off the plane. So, next time you're annoyed by a 30-minute delay, just remember, it could be worse. Next, imagine the opposite of a delay, an emergency evacuation. When things go wrong, getting everyone off the plane quickly can be the difference between life and death. Take British Air Tours Flight 28M in 1985. During takeoff, an engine fire caused smoke to fill the cabin. The crew sprang into action, evacuating all 131 passengers in under 90 seconds. That's faster than most of us can get out of bed in the morning. But how did they do it? through rigorous training and simulations. Flight attendants practice evacuation so often, they could probably do it blindfolded. Of course, there's always that one passenger who insists on grabbing their carry-on bag, because apparently, their laptop is more important than their life. Here's a pro tip for everyone. In an evacuation, forget your stuff. Your phone, your laptop, even your favorite hat. It's not worth risking your life or someone else's. All right. Sometimes planes don't end up where they're supposed to. And when that happens, the results can be both terrifying and hilarious. One of the most famous cases is the Gimli Glider. In 1983, an Air Canada Boeing 767 ran out of fuel mid-flight due to metric conversion error. The pilots, Robert Pearson and Maurice Quintal, managed to glide the plane to a safe landing on an abandoned strip in Gimli, Manitoba. Which, funnily enough, was being used as a drag racing strip. The landing was so smooth that the plane didn't even burst into flames, and everyone on board walked away unscathed. There's another case of a British Airways flight in 2019 that was supposed to land in Dusseldorf, but ended up in Edinburgh instead. The crew filed the wrong flight plan, and no one realized the mistake until the captain announced, Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Welcome to Edinburgh. Imagine the passengers' faces. Finally, let's end with a mix of aviation records that are as quirky as they are impressive. Did you know the highest in-flight cocktail party ever took place aboard a Concorde at 60,000 feet? Passengers sip champagne while cruising faster than a speed of sound. Now that's what I call flying in style. Or how about the world's longest paper airplane throw inside an aircraft? In 2013, passengers on a Virgin Atlantic flight set the record proving that even long-haul flights can have their fun moments. Okay, here's one you probably didn't see coming. The most consecutive loop-de-loops in an aircraft. That record belongs to pilot Spencer Suderman, who completed 98 consecutive loops in 2014. Just imagine the G-forces involved. By loop 50, I'd be asking for an air sickness bag. 
or an exorcist. And that's a wrap. So what's your favorite record? The fastest plane? The longest flight? Or maybe the time a pilot flew through two tunnels just because he could? Let me know in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to check out my recent video, Flying Myths That Make No Sense and The Real Facts. Keep flying high with us, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and be ready for more stories that defy the skies.